Drag me, take me to the bunny ranch. People dying, kill me in the packing house. Even you oh gosh, gosh, I'm I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, uh, I hate to interrupt, but um, we have a new segment out here. It's um, we have a news brief by Mary Tyler Most. So open up your ear balls. Bam. On this day in science, Thomas Edison invented the phonograph. Or did he? We'll never know, because Thomas Edison was a real dick. I'm Mary Tyler Most. This has been This Day in Science. Hi! Hey, everybody. So, uh, um, all right, check this out. You guys may or may not know I was in a band. Yeah, that's right. I got to live the dream, the, the, the band dream, go on tour and everything. Um, yeah, so I was in this band. It was called the Pizza Underground. Uh, we did Velvet Underground songs about pizza. I know, isn't that hilarious? It actually was, for real. The shit was actually some of the funniest shit I've ever done. Uh, yeah, no, we had a really good time together, and it kind of all came together really, really fast and stupid. Um you know, I was the last one to join. <laughs> I, I'm sure we talk about it during the podcast. Uh, yeah, these guys had a really funny idea. And next thing you know, I blinked and I was in a band, you know, that took up a couple of years of my life. Um, you guys are really great people. I kind of ambushed them. They all, like, we hadn't actually like spoken to each other. I mean, everyone speaks to each other, but we actually hadn't all gotten together in about two years at this point. And now, some of my band members, they have babies together. Some of them moved across the country. Like, you know, so it was actually a very rare occasion that we all got together and got to have a, you know, a, a fun-ass time. So we are many bottles of champagne into it, and I just put a bunch of microphones in front of everybody. Um, you know, it might even be awkward in the beginning, but it's okay, because everyone just warms up and forgets about the microphones. Uh so, uh, yeah, no, enjoyed this uh, fantastic pizza edition of uh, the podcast because this is a very rare occasion when you get a bunch of uh, Pizza Underground people in the same room together. So uh, welcome welcome uh, to this hurrah. I wouldn't say the last one, but it's certainly hurrah. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this But yeah, no, we are the Pizza Underground. Yay! Huzzah! Huzzah! There's just two of us that, that held. Huzzah! Yeah, yeah, I held go. too. Yeah, okay. Good. I, I don't know if you heard it. Yeah. We're ambivalent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're an ambivalent <laughs> band. Should I be German for this interview? I don't know. <laughs> totally, totally. So, uh, um, yeah, I mean, we're, we, today is actually our five-year anniversary. 
That's true. Of yeah. our of the Pizza Underground show at Baby's All Right in Brooklyn. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Lines around the block. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, was it that one or was it the sidewalk one? Or was it the Jeff Lewis one that we did? Oh, I don't know. I well, think this yeah. is the anniversary of the Baby's All Right show. Oh, so actually our anniversary was like two days earlier, really, when it right. came to our first open and a, mic-y mm. kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so, yeah, so I guess the Jeff Lewis show was actually like earlier than that. Uh, yeah. a cup, by a couple it days, was, yeah. It, it seems like we're cherry-picking some anniversaries a maybe. date that we were all in new york <laughs> is it cherry picking or a lack of memory what is it is that it, or was it like, old age? that was right after we broke that's when jake entered our lives yeah. and oh, set goodness. up that show oh. i think oh. yeah so it definitely was show was still under the radar <laughs> yep. but still it's like a secret cool band <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know back when we only had 15 minutes of material no no i think it was eight, it was eight. Oh, eight. eight minutes of material we had, we oh eight minutes. i think Five hundred people lined up in the cold to see us play eight minutes, and it was really cold. I remember that day. It was really yeah. cold. Yeah, we had to walk two blocks over to the venue, and that was a lot. Yeah, it was. That was asking a lot of us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, how about this? Should we go? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I've I've gotten I think most of the you know the origin story, but because I know it involves Spain and a pizza place, I think. Oh, the- but. Sure. Give, what is the story of the Pizza Underground? Like, how did it how did it start? Because I'm pretty sure it was Matt and and Dina. Like, that's kind of what the the seeds were. Or am I wrong? We were on a tour that had a disproportionate disproportionate number of dates in Catalonia. We were playing like ten shows each, like a ten minute drive from each other, um, to to no fans really. It I was mean, a secret show the night that we came up with it and no one came because it wasn't advertised because it was a secret show so no one was told about it right that was the point nobody knew about it so (laughs) that's where our tour promoters had set it up as a secret show (laughs) you know what it was weird our whole our whole tour was just secret (laughs) But, uh, 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 um, so, you, I mean, especially with those short drives, like in Europe, I mean, you guys, you have almost too much downtime, it seems like. Like too much time to think about stuff. Yeah, yeah we got really deep deep philosophical, mm-hmm. um, and we just couldn't stop thinking of Velvet Underground songs that could have pizza related lyrics. And it was really just that. And did you like, I mean, it's like, like, were you listening to a particular song? And, you know, like just... Take a bite of the wild slice or something. I feel like the very first song we came up with was was Cheese Days. Oh, nice. <laughs> I don't think so because it was no? the Velvet Underground and Nico album that was oh, playing okay. at the Secret Show. So I think we were doing more of the, but the Cheese Days came very soon into the into the the history into the canon. So I mean, do you guys look just like come running back and get like? Hey, Phoebe, look what we just came up with. Well, Phoebe was there. We did, and no one liked it. But us. Yeah. I, I was an early dissenter. <laughs> of all the people who have been appalled by this band <laughs> across America through the years, I would like to say that I was the very first person to be appalled by this idea. <laughs> I'm still not sure about it. <laughs> it's still, to this day, five yeah. years later. Uh, uh, so you came I, back, and then, like... So then, I mean, when did it get, like, legs? So I think I was the bully here in that I was moving to Berlin and I had a little... I was having a going-away party and I told Phoebe and Matt and Austin, who who came in also, that my one wish before I moved away to Germany forever was for the Peds Underground to perform in my backyard. So it was like a Make-A-Wish Foundation kind of thing? Exactly. Except and they all felt bad for me, and they said, okay. I said, poor Dina, she's going to live in Berlin with a fucking <laughs> fellowship. <laughs> <laughs> what can we do to make this better for her? The Berlin government has given her all this money. <laughs> <laughs> poor Dina. To live for free. <laughs> You get educated for free. So, um, so you guys did a backyard show because uh, uh, you know. For backstory, I was the last one of the five of us to join. Like, right, I you was... weren't there for the backyard story. That's no, right. exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, your part was played by a young Pete Dahlberg who was currently a carpenter in Austin. Love it. He was in in New York at the time, and uh... or Pete Best. 
Yeah, exactly. Pretty sure his name's not Best. Yeah. It's true. Every, every good yeah, Stu- fan needs a Pete by the wayside. Yeah, Stu Sutcliffe. So we had one, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I remember... And it was your guys' place in Humboldt, right? It was the Brooklyn? Uh, yeah, thing? in Brooklyn, yeah. It was our backyard. Because I've only seen pictures. The audience went wild. Really? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got, Je- we got Jeffrey Lewis to introduce us, and he said that... Um, Wait, what did he say? Something brilliant. It was really... (laughs) Something memorable. (laughs) He said not many people heard the pizza underground, but everyone who did started their own pizza band. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. How did he come up with that? It's just like... (laughs) Just, just that smart. It's a stroke of genius. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So then we 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 had historical context. How long was the set? Like, I mean, was that it, was like, shorter. Maybe that was probably three and a half minutes. Or four. Or four minutes. Because well, we're a medley it band. Was medley number one. So is that four minutes? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I've only seen pictures. Black and white pictures, too, which kind of age it in a fantastic way. Yeah. yeah. It was in 1937. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> we were between they were two types. wars. <laughs> <laughs> it was a wild era. era. <laughs> Prohibition had just been ushered in. <laughs> we hit our alcohol in pizza boxes. <laughs> yeah. Reagan had just been elected president. <laughs> of the 30s. Of the 30s. <laughs> <laughs> it was Wait, that good. It was that good. <laughs> Wait, Reagan wasn't in the 30s? So, how did we all meet? <laughs> so, I, I met you, Dina, through uh, uh, Mr. Toby Goodshank. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, and uh, a friend of mine, a, a friend of yours, and uh, yeah, it was. <laughs> I remember the night. I was. Um, was it Halloween or no? No, it was a night. It was the James Franco reading at the Strand. No, we'd met before. Oh no, we met before, but that was a night that you. Oh, that was the Pizza Underground. That night. was the night you became invited into the the Pizza Underground. Oh yeah, yeah, because yeah. Well, I guess we're going now that we're, we've gone into there. Yeah, sure. Like so, we went, so we went to we went to uh, Dean and I went to a uh, James Franco book reading uh, with Mr. Adam Green, Mr. Toby Goodshank, uh, at the Strand, and we walked back, and it was you know. Uh, it was an interesting experience. The book reading. It was. It was fun. Uh, Go great. on. Well, you know, we you know we made it fun. How about that? You know, yeah. So uh, uh, I'll leave it at that. We came back, and so at one point, Dina was like, "Oh, there's this Pizza Underground kind of thing that we're doing," and I was like, "I think that's hilarious." You know, like, "Oh, we just replaced the lyrics with pizza." Like, oh, that sounds great. And I was like, she was like, "Oh, you should totally join us." And I was like, "Yeah, cool. Like, yeah, like." Sure, like, let me know, and, uh, you know, if I come up with some, maybe I can come up with some jokes or something like that. And, like, then, like less than like, a week later, she's like, okay, we're doing this. You're invited. <laughs> You're coming. <laughs> like, okay, I'm in. Like, you know, and just sent me whatever. And I was like, okay, let's, let's go. So I was kind of, I was, I was kind of swept off my feet. That's when uh, you lost your free will. Yeah, exactly. That, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, if it's any comfort, we were similarly baffled. <laughs> 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 Dina told us that his, her new friend Mac was going to come over and uh, might want to join the band and if that was cool and then you showed up I remember with a lot of beer to our apartment and mm-hmm. we thought that was pretty cool mm-hmm. and then you left to go to a dinner party with Dylan Baker wow you remember that I remember yeah. that well yeah, yeah. of course it's all etched in my memory of course <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, and then but this is what sealed it we were all a little bit skeptical like okay is he really in it to win it we don't know mm. and you went away and then you came back later that same night with more beer and played Sellers of Catan with us <laughs> okay. until like four in the morning and we're like alright well this until guy the should be in the na- band the upstairs neighbors pounded on the floor <laughs> that's right telling us to be quiet yeah, yeah. The first time that's true they had no objections until that night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? What was it that we were doing that was so offensive? Just, you know, romping through medieval Catan and trying to harvest the right amount of wheat. I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. There, there we go. So that's the, that's the, the origins. How, I mean, how, actually, how did Phoebe and Matt, how did you guys meet? In the same backyard where the, the first Pete's Underground... Uh, concert was back in uh, in uh, Brooklyn Humboldt and Matt you were dressed as Captain Kirk and Phoebe you were dressed as I was dressed as Mrs. Roper the upstairs neighbor <laughs> from <laughs> Three's Company <laughs> <laughs> but Matt is a little bit younger than I am so he thought I was Miss Frizzle 
from the Magic School Bus. <laughs> I think both sex icons, though. So clearly. You can't go wrong. Hot is basically yeah, the takeaway. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. There you go. Yeah. There you go. And, and it was the 4th of July. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday, America. Oh, wait, was it not? No, oh, yeah. No, Halloween. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. dressed up like that on the 4th of July. <laughs> so we have a new segment this week. Uh, it is Luis Prada with our Meditation Minute. So everyone welcome Luis Prada. Hello and welcome to Meditation Minute. I'm your guide, Louis Prada. With this program, I want to help you traverse the echoey caverns of your mind to reach the promised land of focus and calm. Let's get right to it, shall we? Begin by closing your eyes and taking deep breaths. Focus on those breaths. You might notice your mind wandering to memories, the stresses of your life, or random images, and that's okay. It's perfectly fine, just as long as you return your focus to your breathing. We're all susceptible to a little wandering, even me. I'll show you as I meditate along with you. I'm seeing grass swaying in the wind. My cat sleeping on his little bed. A sunset. How the hell am I going to pay my rent? An itch on my back. An itch on my front. That guy who cut me off in traffic yesterday speeding up to drive alongside that guy who cut me off in traffic yesterday. Giving the finger to that guy who cut me off in traffic yesterday. Jerking the wheel to sideswipe that guy who cut me off in traffic yesterday. Missing entirely and careening into a ditch as I failed to exact revenge on the guy who cut me off in traffic yesterday. Someone shouting, He's got a gun! Realizing, It's me. And I'm going to find the guy who cut me off in traffic yesterday. Muffins. I hope this guided meditation brought you closer to the serenity you seek. My name is Louis Prada, and this has been Meditation Minute. Have a pleasant day. You want to talk about? Let's talk about tour life. How about that? Uh, we sure. Can backtrack. How about that? But you know, or track? forward track. Forward <laughs> track. Yeah, this is jumping way. I know. I'm sorry. I just thought of it. No, no, no. This it's... has been so much fun to tour. Seeing you guys all in a group together like this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> silence! Oh no! <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, just for even, I'll do a little setup kind of thing. It's like, I think we kind of get swept off our feet a little bit with this whole thing. I mean, I thought, look, you know, it was a joke. And then it was like, then we started bringing in an agent or something like that. And it was kind of like, I kind of rolled my eyes and I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. This thing lives for like a week or two. We're done. You That's know? what we all thought. Yeah. Yeah. And then next thing you know, we're on, you know, four week tour and then an and then eight weeker. Six week and, tour. You know, eight. It was eight. It was eight weeks? Yeah. What? Yeah, it was. <laughs> oh, I've revised that in my memory for <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. The posters on, the wall, on that wall behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, and uh, yeah, so I think we kind of tripped and fell into a lot of this kind of stuff. Well, Matt, know? I think you said, was it you who said the smartest thing maybe ever about the Pizza Underground? Ooh, I hope so. We <laughs> made all the mistakes and had no time to learn from them. Yeah, I could have said that. I think I said that. Oh, Dina said that. <laughs> <laughs> Again, the men get I'm all the credit. <laughs> So, I said something really smart once. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? Who am I? I? And what I am I doing like... with my life? Oh. 
I think it was me that said a rose by any other color. <laughs> <laughs> that might have been you. I don't know. <laughs> just left it at that. You just left it done. <laughs> uh, uh, um, so, I mean, how many of you guys, like, you know, like, what were your two experiences before doing the, the, the you know, our pizza gigs? I had I'm never been on tour. you back to the secret show. <laughs> <laughs> so, so one secret show in Spain? <laughs> no, I kid. We, yeah. we had many great tours for years and years. Yeah, toured for years and years, um, mostly in Europe and mostly on that kind of homespun, down and dirty style of sleeping on couches yeah. and just going wherever you could and playing shows and full of tiny, very warm crowds that were excited to have you there. It was... It was a great time, and it was not good preparation for touring with the Pizza Underground. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, Austin, you were saying you, none? I had never been on tour before. Mm -hmm. And My Dana? very first tours. Well, I was on this tour with, with Phoebe and Toby Goodshank. Just, yeah, the, the, the Magical Mystery Tour. tour. <laughs> um, where not all of the shows had no fans, but that, at least that one had very few. You dig it. So what were your what were your thing what were you thinking like was going to happen or like yeah like yeah cuz I mean I was walking into it like I wasn't flying completely blind but yeah didn't know what what people wanted <laughs> Wait, you want this thing? <laughs> you want this pizza thing? <laughs> I mean, it was such a different animal. I think it was unprecedented. Yeah. Like, first of all, we didn't know it was going to be like touring with you, and we didn't know what that was going to be like, so that was a whole different animal. <laughs> and we didn't know what it was going to be touring, like, where people had expectations. I feel like mostly we toured before, it was people who were sort of showing up just to see what was going to happen. New Year's. Yeah, yeah and it was, it was people who either, like, knew us from, you know, little internet songs that they liked or just sort of were you know, living in Dusseldorf and thought it'd be fun to go out for the night, mm -hmm. you know? So it wasn't, we never had the scene of people coming with expectations, positive or negative. It was just like people who either were predisposed to like us or... Looky-loose. You know. Yeah, this this world of, of people coming demanding their pizza music and demanding <laughs> their jokes and their access to a certain guy was something we were not expecting. Or I guess we should have expected it. That was dumb of us not to expect it. <laughs> but we didn't really know what it meant. <laughs> well, what was it like to tour with me? In particular, I mean, uh, well, it's not at all about me. I'm just, but also at the same it time, was, it was also, a dream come true. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting my whole life well, for this well, opportunity. Well, you know, uh, it's one of those things where it's been a bunch of years since, so there's actually retrospect where it's like, yeah, I, I think, I think, we, you know, uh, there, I think there's a part of all of us that would be like, what was it like to tour with Dina? Like, I'm sure you would have, you know. Well, I feel like the, the crazy thing about the Pizza Underground was that we, um. I feel like we skipped a whole bunch of steps that bands usually have to go through. Nice. And so we needed all these like special things that we either one didn't really know to ask for or two, because we weren't like super big, didn't get and that maybe you needed <laughs> <laughs> like security you know, like, or a backstage bathroom. How about that? <laughs> That'd be cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I feel like we were like launched into this place that we didn't probably, I don't want to say deserve. <laughs> No, I mean, no, we, we didn't. I think that's it. fair. We did not deserve it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I completely agree with Phoebe. Yes. I remember the first, I'm oh, sorry. I didn't no, go it. ahead. I remember the first airplane ride we took together, and we, like, had no idea if you, Mac, were going to fly in coach with the rest of us mm -hmm. or just be in first class. Mm -hmm. And you also didn't make it onto that airplane. <laughs> 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 and we like, and we we um I made it on time to the gig, okay. <laughs> we all went to the airport together. I know. <laughs> and four out of five of us made it onto the plane. I just missed the door, okay? Well, well, that story. I need to hear So it. so we all went to the airport together. All five of us went to the airport together. Mac was like, I'm gonna go to the bar, I'm gonna get a drink. Um and we were like, okay, that's cool. And then we got on the plane and we we're like, okay, Max is going to come. And then they were like, okay, we're going to close the door in five minutes or whatever. And we were like, uh, uh, what do we do? And we were like flagging down the flight attendants and we we're like, we're still waiting for somebody. But we also didn't know, we were like, should we, should we be like, 
hey, you, you know who we're waiting for, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> and, but we didn't know what to do. We were like, well, we probably shouldn't be trying to pull something like that. We should be like sitting on the, you, you know, we should just like try to play it cool. Like I'm sure he'll show up. Mm. But it didn't happen, <laughs> and they and they closed the gate, and <laughs> and, and we were kind of like Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that's only the second flight in my life that I ever missed. Uh, yeah, it was the it was, it worst was, part. I, I though I just missed, I just missed the door. I just missed the door. The worst part is the flight attendant was like. If you had told us it was Macaulay Culkin, we would have held the plane. <laughs> and we're like, no. That, that makes me wonder what their threshold of fame is. Like, you know, it's like, oh, you know. <laughs> like, you know like, yeah. Let's do this a menace. No, we'll close the door. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, but Macaulay Culkin. Well, okay, fine. We'll hold All right, it. well. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, uh, Stu, why aren't you in your leader hosen? That's further away from me. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to do this quietly. Okay. Are you wearing your leader hosen? I can be. Okay. Just, just saying. Later hosen. Later hosen. Later hosen. Google gobble. gobble. Wish, wish. Later hosen. <laughs> 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 yeah, Stu. <still. laughs> do it. Do it. Oh, okay. So, uh, I guess you guys can tell that uh, Stu is here, and we're convincing him to get into his later hosen because he was talking about it earlier. Does yeah. he really have later hosen? Yes. yes, he does. Oh, I thought this was just a joke. No, okay. not no. a joke at all. Oh, Stu. <laughs> <laughs> it's later now, so oh, right. appropriate <laughs> for later hosen. So this joke went on way too long. <laughs> or did it go way too long? Or I mean, I mean, I think or I think long we, enough. I think we soaked just the right amount of marrow out of the bone. I think. I mean, like. Yeah. I mean, okay, I mean, were there songs that were went untouched? Oh, that you oh. built. That's you know, a I mean, wh- how, how would we evolve? Well, you know, that kind of thing. We did evolve. Oh, we I mean, became of a we sensibility. Did. We became a variety act. We had Nevermound. We had Pussy Joel. Yeah. We had Plop Dylan. It's true. I would say, <laughs> I forgot like, about Plop Dylan. <laughs> Plop Dylan songs about. We poop. started off our show. I felt honestly a little bit embarrassed to be taking <laughs> out to the people. You know, I think our first shows, well, you know, I mean, it was like 15 minutes of material and people were paying money to come and see us and we knew it was not good. It wasn't good. <laughs> didn't and, nope. But we did it and it was like, well, you all got your little monkey show and mm. so you should all be happy. It was a sort of adversary relationship where like we loved them for being there but we hated them for wanting more. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was an embarrassment of riches. Yeah, it was, it was highs and lows and then I think as the show went on I mean because it was you know a year or so and I think it, it just it did get better we all got better at our parts and we added more and more things till the end I feel like when we played our big like you know whatever, Bowery Ballroom Welcome Home show I felt like I would invite Blue Reed's ghost to see yeah, this yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to have a laugh. and yeah. he still would have been really furious but <laughs> I, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have been shy about it so I think in that way we evolved pretty strongly through the through the time we were there that said, I think we got out just when the getting was good. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. that's what I was getting at. Like, yeah, yeah, I think it was like, yeah, no, I thought it was kind of like time. Yeah, we knew. <laughs> we knew. We were winding we down. Knew. We knew. Yeah. We knew all along. We're not like, a bunch whatever, of dummies. No. Well, mate, well, I don't know. <laughs> we're definitely <laughs> we're a bunch of dummies. I mean, look, <laughs> look what we did. <laughs> I think Brenda uh, has a question. question in the back. Oh yeah, yeah. Only because I'm obviously looking at this from afar. Do you guys have like a favorite show or your favorite part about doing all of this? Uh, uh, um, Vancouver was really cool because it, we had just lost Lizzo. Uh, oh, yeah. Because she had just left the tour. And Harmer, and then Harmer was sick. That's right. And so they asked us to do an hour and a half long set. And now listen, people, for real, we had 22 minutes of material <laughs> of actual music. And we, it was already kind of a stretch to do 45 minutes. But then, uh, uh, um, so yeah, we did an hour and a half. That's when you started, uh, Phoebe, you started doing uh, uh, Throat Culture. Like yeah. started doing some solo kind of like stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we really kind of just, we made it work. And actually, it, at the end of the day, I always wanted people to walk away and said, that was a fun show. Like we're not, like, we're not reinventing the wheel like you know we're not we're not blowing your earballs away with our musical stylings like no people were like it was a fun party 
you know, yeah. It's and I thought true, it was. Yeah. I thought it was, I thought we were able to sustain an hour and a half long, you know, show out there. I think yeah. I think one of the things we learned was that the more fun we were having, the more fun everyone was going to have. It was and infectious. like the first couple of shows we played live, like when we played that show at uh, Brooklyn Bazaar, was disastrous. Oh god! Partially because we let our manager tune the guitars, which was a really bad <laughs> yeah, yeah. idea. But also, we just thought we had to be in character as like these very stoic, cool people, yeah. and we didn't think we could goof. Holy shit! Yeah. I have to. Stop talking Hold now, on, everybody. Because Stu, Stu just Stu entered just the room in later hoses. Oh, wow, um, Stu, you need to step away so you get a full body with, photo. No, no, Stu, go stand with everyone over there so I can get. Uh, yeah, with yeah, we have to get a picture with this guy's. This is this is this is gonna haunt your Christmas dreams forever. He's you also, know, he's also wearing a neckerchief. Oh, sorry. You know, fantastic. Enlight your Christmas yeah, trees forever. Look great. I don't know what they're talking. All right, kids. Earlier, Stu, you were saying that tuxedo uh, later hosens are the tuxedos of Germany, and now. I'll hand it to you. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, like, that is a, you're, 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 you're certainly that is a beautiful later hose. It's really good. It's really short, too. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice stems there, Stu. <laughs> yes, Stu, are your butt cheeks supposed to be hanging out of the later hose? <laughs> so uh, we're talking about our favorite shows and, you know, the... Yeah, Vancouver was great. Vancouver, Vancouver was, was cool. good. I lost my passport that night. Did you? I forgot I about did, that. I did, yeah. Oh, shit. Huh. I How drove in and in? flew out. Yeah, how, yeah how no, I lost. I guess I lost it on the America side, on the U.S. side. And yeah, I guess because the Canadians are hard asses getting it. Yeah, they wouldn't have but, let me. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, but the U.S. is they, yeah, a little easier. Going the Canadians, that despite seeming nice, in general, are so mean we'd at have the to, border. We'd have to go an hour early because yeah. Of, because uh, yeah because yeah. I got arrested in two thousand and four or something. Which like that. was like, so, supposed to be expunged from your oh, record, yeah, yeah, yeah. but no, somehow Canada knows about it. <laughs> yep. Next thing you know, it's an extra freaking hour at the Canadian border. Uh, so, I, uh, Mr. Colkin, um, will you come with us, please? Yep. Every time, every single time we were at the border, that happened, yeah. and it was the last time. Actually, it was that Vancouver show. I actually because I flew out for that one, and. The guy at the customs after like keeping me up or whatever, he goes, when are you coming back to this country? I go, never. I am never working in this country again. <laughs> I love you guys. You guys are nice. I'll vacation here. But like, yeah, like, no, it's, it's, I'm, I'm Canada. I love you. Just, and a little, just, a little piece of Canada here. died that night. Yeah. 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 Small piece of <laughs> Christmas Canada. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, any other kind of shows like jump out? I remember New Orleans was fun when we did those two sets in that night with a, yeah. a, a, a carte blanche. Yeah. Like with yeah. the, uh, we, we, you know, Julie LaMondola, shout out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> shout out Mexico. Yeah. What? what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I liked our Halloween show in the barn when it was so cold. That's the one I was thinking. That was, that was pretty special. Yeah, a place called Codfish Hollow. Codfish wow. Hollow yeah. in yeah. Iowa. Yeah, in Iowa. Just in the... <laughs> Santa? Santa? <laughs> Are you in that cornfield? <laughs> How about on top of the silo? <laughs> oh, no. Opening acts, though. You guys have some amazing opening acts, because I see your shirt, and I love Uh It was a oh, co-headlining that was a co-headline. tour. Yeah, we could not... He could not have opened for us. We <laughs> had to open for him. A few. Yeah. I mean, some Harmar of the nights that happened, and it show. was wrong. Yeah. No, yeah. No, that did never felt Who right. Who were some of the people that like, went on tour with you guys? Uh, we had Lizzo. <gasps> Lizzo is awesome. Lizzo... So amazing. And so cool, like a, a, a breath of fresh air. I'm so shoot. glad we could prop her up and lead her on the yeah, path yeah, to yeah. fame <laughs> that we did. You're welcome, Lizzo. <laughs> <laughs> when, I, when I saw her song in that car commercial, I was like, eh, you know, I patted yeah. myself on the back. Yeah. yeah, she didn't steal the show every night. It was yeah, no, yeah, nothing like not, that. Not. Uh, uh, um, yeah, we had the Candy Boys. Oh Which, uh, who, wants to, who wants to describe the Candy Boys? <laughs> they describe themselves: two grown men in a boy band. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of whom wears a belly shirt turtleneck. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> Throwing out candy, and yeah, it's it was the two of them and uh, and their iPod it was like yeah that was the band, and yeah they. They sang and danced their hearts out. They did. Yeah, yeah. Sang about candy. Derek and Eric. Yeah, Derek and Eric. (laughs) A de Eric and a Eric. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) What was their DJ's name? DJ Cleric. DJ Cleric. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no. DJ Cleric. I'm afraid Derek. so. Yeah. Derek Cleric. DJ Cleric. He was a Yemeni, Yemeni uh, spiritual figure, I believe, who was in jail. 
<laughs> the mythology, yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> I believe their manager instructed them never to mention DJ Cleric again. <laughs> their manager being Dina. <laughs> I'm their manager. <laughs> What did I say? <laughs> oh, wait a second, Dina. So how did they get on tour with us then? <laughs> old-fashioned nepotism. <laughs> did we have? I am their fathers. Did we have some LA boobs also? We had some LA boobs and definitely some Toby Goodshanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tell, tell me about LA boobs. Yeah. LA boobs was <laughs> Toby Goodshank and I, and we... Was it kind of rappy? Like, you know, I mean, like, you know... What was there it? was some hip-hop spirit. Yeah. Um, uh-huh. Didn't you describe it as songs with too many words? Songs with too many <laughs> words. Or I called it essay folk music. Because <laughs> people want more, like, when they... What's often missing from music is the feeling of essays. Of being read to. Yes. <laughs> but surprisingly danceable for all of that. Yeah. Danceable Ginsburg. Yeah. 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 Yeah, there was some audience participation. Nice, nice, yeah. Did we have other openers? Trying, yeah, that's what I was trying to think I don't know of if we also. Did. Oh, no, I'm sure. Tickle we Torture. Did. We had Tickle Torture. Oh, we had Tickle Torture. Yeah. Which, I mean, I'd seen him before, and he's, like, super cool. He actually has that kind of that club kidsy kind of, you know. Yeah. But it was. So much gold paint. So much gold paint. Uh, Speaking of butt cheeks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Highly sexual. I remember uh, our show in Chicago watching them open for us, and I thought, why are we going to go on after them when everyone's going to have raging boners yeah. in the crowd? How are we going to perform? I, I, I said the same thing except without the why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'm, I'm going to play in front of these people. Pizza and around letting boners, boners <laughs> die for one year. But He's I, our I neighbor like now. He's our neighbor. I, yeah, we like hang him. with him in L.A. I like, what's his Often. name again? Elliot. Elliot, yeah. Elliot Cozell, shout out. Oh, yeah, I went yeah. swimming with that guy. He's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's totally sweet. <laughs> 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 it's just, yeah, like uh, when most of you met him, it was like, yeah, painted in gold paint and like, you know, tearing off his clothes. Bringing and... all those random glitter ladies oh, into that, the green room. They, so he had backup dancers that he would like painted in gold and they, like, I thought there was backup dancers. Like, nope, it was, no. it was... Yeah. They were. He found them on Facebook. Writhing randos. Yeah, I writhing mean, randos. Yeah. That reminds me of the Ecstasy Cats, who were one of the opening acts that we oh, played at. in Brooklyn. In Brooklyn, I don't remember the. These venue. were literal cats on ecstasy. <laughs> Peta was up in arms. Gosh, I do not remember this. They weren't cats. Wait, was they I, were, was they I were the cats? They were, they were women. <laughs> they were Wait, witchy, witchy cats? women. Oh, was that that weird thing where we had the backstage? We had to kick them off. They, like, they're using our little area. <laughs> to like lick their paws. Yeah. <laughs> that's, Taking that's showers. It's a blur. Yeah. And all, yeah. 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 Pretty that sure that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> I'm remembering that time that we only agreed to play in Toronto f- in exchange for tickets to Medieval Times. Yes. yes. I'm that that very, I am was very, a high point. What I'm power very, we had I was very proud of in that. Canada again. Because it was one of those one-offs kind of thing. And it was it, like, yeah, it wasn't like we were in the middle of a tour. So it turned was like, out to oh, be a, do we really want to go to Toronto? And, like, and I said, there's a Medieval Times there. So like, if they give us eight tickets, we'll, we'll do the gig. They got back to us in f- less than five minutes, I remember. And it was like, absolutely, boom. Apparently, and, uh, Medieval Times in Toronto isn't that hard of a ticket to get. Uh, yeah, it, yeah, ma- yeah, yeah. <laughs> it makes me think we should have asked yeah. for two nights yeah. at Medieval Times. Yeah. I guess I'm worth eight tickets at Medieval Times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we weren't asking for money or anything. <laughs> that's, the, that's the exchange rate <laughs> in Medieval Times money. <laughs> that show turned out to be an anime convention. <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, we played we it at the know. science museum. Yeah, yeah, it was a we, science museum. It was like a sci-fi anime. Like, we didn't convention. read the fine print. Once they said yes to the Medieval Times tickets, we were just fully in. But they gave us our onesies, and Are we, we had that great hotel party afterwards. We were all wearing animal yep. onesies and bouncing on the bed, so everyone can imagine that. Yeah, we got novelty <laughs> novelty pillows and onesies. Yep. And yep. flashlights. And I remember thinking, no, I not the same. That wasn't through. the same time. That, that was, was a different same time. That was a different time in that Toronto. That was a different one. It was? Yeah. yeah. A different sponsorship was the flashlight. Yes. Canadians that's when. <laughs> <laughs> that's when we think like. Canadians. I don't mean Canadians. I mean Canadians. <laughs> so we got the, 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 the cannabis girls or whatever. And then we opened for Reggie Watts. And it was, what is it? Andy Milanakis was the host. Oh, that's right. Was that he? was that yeah. night? That was fl- that was hosted okay. by that Fleshlight. Was Fleshlight night. Yeah, so there was two different. I still have mine. 
<laughs> Mine's somewhere in the back. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. A, um, a, <laughs> <laughs> you can put them in the dishwasher. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anchovy, I think, got stopped dishes. by TSA <laughs> yeah, they, because they they were asking if he had any organic material <laughs> <laughs> in his luggage. <laughs> Does Westlake count as organic? Material? I don't think they knew what it was when it went through the X-ray. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, "What is this?" He took it out. And, yeah. It's my sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why we checked ours. <laughs> yeah, always check your fleshlight, kids. <laughs> Words of wisdom. Valuable lessons from mm-hmm. Pizza Underground. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we played in. Uh, it was four countries, right? We got there. We got yes. there. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Got, yes. We got, we got England. We got Canada. We got the states, and we did Mexico. And we did Mexico twice. Canada was a. I mean, Canada, Mexico was <laughs> <laughs> one of those places. <laughs> yeah, yeah my, my brain is still in Mexico right now. Yeah, no Tijuana. Yeah, the uh, Mexico was a disaster both both times. times. Both times. Both times. Remember, we think we when we thought we didn't need to bring a tour manager with us and we could do it on our own to Mexico. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that was, uh, I think, Monterey. You weren't there for that one. I wasn't. You there. dodged we, a bullet. Yeah, yeah. You dodged a Monterey bullet. Monterey. <laughs> 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 we did create our artiest video, <laughs> yeah. Funky Town. Oh my goodness! Yes, I remember that. Funky Town. Hey, Google it, kids. <laughs> 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 yeah, that was the time when I don't. I remember that, we had to walk over the Tijuana border. There was oh that. my god! Well, we that was to, a different time. That, that was yeah, yeah. That was when uh, when Jakey was with us. Our tour got, manager got stopped. got stopped at the border. Our tour manager was a liability. Got kicked out of the Hard oh, yeah. Rock Cafe <laughs> <laughs> in San Diego. San Diego, and then stopped at the border in <laughs> Tijuana. <laughs> And then remember he missed he missed the van in Austin he, too. Some horrible person thought he was doing cocaine in the bathroom, and I'm sure he wasn't. Some, some lying liar <laughs> <laughs> accused this man. A saint, a yeah, saint, a beautiful yes. angel. Oh. He had a cold. He was <laughs> sniffly. <laughs> But here's what I'll say about because we, you know, went through more than one manager. Jake was. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wait, Jake. Jake were was, we Jake, the monsters? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was. He was first online, and he was very enthused and jazzed about this whole thing. Like, that's am I true. wrong? Am I wrong? No, he that's was. true. He was. And I think- I don't know what would have happened without him because he was the one who came to us and said you should play this Baby's All Right show. Yeah. He set up our first few shows for us after we had our little internet moment. So yeah. I, I give Jake full credit for that. Yeah, yeah and, no, uh, he was enthused. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he was he was a guy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah. He believed in us when no one else did. When we didn't believe in ourselves. He took a chance on a rap skag. <laughs> <laughs> a little group of rap scallions. Yeah. <laughs> I guess, we, like, when did we know it was over? We're not over. There were a lot of end. I mean, I think when we were um, (laughs) when we were bottled off of stage and Nottingham, I think that was the one ending that we thought we were having. Oh yeah, I mean, I I was like, oh no, I was going to get back on the trolley. I just my cat jumped out a window. Right, 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 right. (laughs) Those difficult times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had to leave that tour because my cat jumped out a window and just wasn't dead yet. It just wasn't dead yet. (laughs) Defenestration is a real thing. Yeah, exactly. I was going to pull the plug for a show in Nottingham. I, you know, just like give me, give me a day or two. <laughs> Good that times. Northern Dickheads. England, though. Hon- honestly, I place. really don't like touring England. Kind of thing. I've done it. <laughs> for real. I've done it. Like oh, I've jumped on like uh, uh, um, Adams, like buses and things like that. And even when he's doing it with Binky, and like yeah, they're a little rough and tumble a little bit. Yeah. They're you know yeah. They're not afraid to throw bottles when they're happy. They're not afraid afraid to throw bottles when they're mad. Mm-hmm. Yep. They're going to throw bottles both times. <laughs> and, 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 you know, and one of the things they haven't learned is, like, how about you just not serve out a glass in those yeah, kind of scenarios? Yeah, how about plastic? Yeah, exactly. We're, we still don't want it thrown at us, but... Yeah. To be fair, though, that was our biggest audience. That was 2,000 people. What? Uh, no. It, in uh, Nottingham, yeah. Oh, Nottingham? No, no. Uh, uh, that would be in... Not Brighton. Uh, 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 ooh, I'll think of it in a second. Oh, wait. No, Birmingham? No. It was Nottingham. Nottingham. That it was, was Nottingham. 2,000 people. Okay, when they threw the glass kind of yeah. thing? That was when we were on the freaking boat, the Vecla. 
boat. They threw some that, things that at both shows. shows. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. They yeah, also I'm, threw glass in Manchester. I'm not. I'm not. I saying don't know that it, that it was glass. I think it was cans. In Manchester. Definitely in Nottingham. I, I think it was I cans. Just remember Ma- a glass hit the glass. ceiling and rained down on the first two rows, and I was like feeling really not okay about that. No. How do we know we could have worn appropriate clothing? <laughs> yeah, well, it could be like a Gallagher like, stayed up routine. <laughs> <laughs> later Hosen. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Exactly. Spill beer on later Hosen. It's like nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, Dina, you got hit by a slice of pizza that was aimed for me, and it hit you square in the crotch. You're welcome. Square in the crotch. (laughs) She'd take a bullet for you. Yeah, that was in Tucson. That was a bodyguard moment Mm -hmm. right there. Oh, Tucson. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was a hip town, but those people were me. (laughs) (laughs) It's true. We gave them free stuff, and they threw it back in 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 Dina's crotches. (laughs) Well, that was the end of the bring your own pizza joke to the stage. Because we heard, like, we yeah. invited the audience for a while. We used to invite people up to the stage to say their pizza joke. And, uh, and I made the mistake. We got I, a couple of good ones, and then we got somebody I who let was, go of my mic. I let it have it. Oh. And, I, and look out. Uh, that was my oh, mistake. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, no, yeah. Uh, like, never let go of your hammer. Yeah. Thor's hammer, and, you know. <laughs> First rule of audience work. Yeah, yeah. Never let go of the mic. And I let oh, is that true? It. I didn't know that was a rule. Oh, you just made it up? <laughs> That's a really good rule. Yeah. Good rule. <laughs> you can take Austin's class. Yeah. <laughs> His microphone class. It's in North Hollywood, $2,000 a week. <laughs> we have one rule. <laughs> Don't talk about my class. Don't seed the mic. <laughs> no, give it back. <laughs> I regret not going to Japan. I remember Ooh, when yeah. we went to England, and remember we had a different we had a different booking agent for England and he yeah. was trying to explain to us what the correct order of things was, which is obviously not the order that we had already been following. He was like, you know, first you got you get popular in the United States, then you come to England and you build an audience. He's trying to crack us like a Japan. real band. <laughs> yeah, I was like, no, why can't we go to Japan right now when we want to go to Japan? <laughs> yeah. True. It's probably our best chance to go, yeah. It, that, that would have been amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, we were offered a tour of the Chinese provinces, <laughs> <laughs> and we turned it down. So that's on us. Yeah, that it's one's true. Almost... It's I, true. I always wanted to do a bar mitzvah. Like oh, that was always no. on my list. I bet we still can. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I bet we'll get some calls after this goes George live. George is going to be thirteen <laughs> in ten, 10 years. years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Our fifteen year. For, yeah. yeah. I'll start practicing now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get, get that kazoo out. You know, I've never been to a bar mitzvah. It's also on my list of parties I'd like to You've attend. You've never been to a bar mitzvah? No. See, twofer. Oh, we well, do that's twofer. what New yeah. Hampshire will do, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I also wanted a, uh, a kazoo sponsorship. Like, you know, like when you're at the guitar center and there's a yeah. kazoo's right there or something like that, and it's my face on the box, like, yeah, double thumbs up. I'm going like, yeah, Macaulay Culkin kazoo's. I think you just got it. See, there you go. Yeah. These I'm dreams are out. within reach. Yeah, I, I, think that's a, I think that's a reality. You have I, to speak so, your so. dreams out loud. I know, Matt, I know you wanted, because we wanted free boots and things like that, but you wanted free leather jackets, I remember. Oh, it would have been awesome. But no, I'm talking about like hopes and dreams. Like, and again, like, no, I, also, I remember that was something I on the tip of your brain. I wanted a guitar, and I got real close until they heard us play. <laughs> oh. They went to our gig, and they're like, eh, nah. That happened. Did I they read that fend- review? Fender rep. <laughs> I was like full of promises before the show and then I couldn't find him afterwards it's terrible. <laughs> well, there, oh no <laughs> well there was one thing we wanted and then we got which was a script that Corey Feldman dropped off at the, our Whiskey A Go Go show in Los Angeles what was it called again? Purple Heart Purple Heart I mean yeah. you don't oh, Jesus as, Christ <laughs> listen I'm, I in, think, oh, I'm, in, I'm in I think as Phoebe said <laughs> I'm in control. I'm in control of the editing of this whole thing, so we can go as far as we want with this. <laughs> it's a true story, Dina. <laughs> I'm trying to tell the truth here. Tell, tell the true story, as you say. Like I think, as Phoebe said, you don't get you don't always get the script you want, but you get the script that you get. I think what I said was that <laughs> <laughs> we talked about this whole. T- Banned a lot as a <laughs> monkey's paw wish, I think, was yeah. the yeah. came it's up a true. lot. It's like, you know, you dream about being famous, but you don't dream about becoming famous like this. Right. And you don't dream about having a script like the Purple Heart. <laughs> the Purple Shark. <laughs> and, and 
for for the audience out there, a monkey a monkey's paw wishes that you you know you get a creepy monkey's paw. <laughs> you get a creepy monkey's paw, <laughs> and you get to make wishes on it, and and the wishes are a little bit demented. Right, when it's they like come yeah, true. you get it, but it's not the way that you thought it was going right. to be, and usually haunted. <laughs> <laughs> and it definitely haunted us. <laughs> but we shot a couple of scenes from it. We did. But before that, we got the script, and we were in the green room. And then there was the Corey Feldman pull, stretch canvas photo. Oh, well, yeah, that's, that was a good story. Are we Can allowed we talk to talk? Are we allowed Actually, to talk about it? Absolutely. Happened, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we're at the Whiskey A Go Go. Are we naming names? Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, we, 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 can name, we can name names. Yeah. So we're you at the fabled Whiskey A Go Go in mm-hmm. West Hollywood on the Sunset Strip. Um, you know, Jim Morrison had played there. Janis Joplin. We were had we were a bunch there. of lizard kings that night. We yeah. were lizard kings playing after pay for play teenagers. Mm-hmm. Yes, in, which is great. in white in white shirts, button ups, and ties. That's wait, who? That's who was there. That was who played. That's who us. opened for us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> who was that? I don't. Well, no they, one knows. I don't know. Just I'm sure they're nice kids. I'm sure. Uh, yeah, it was it was Phoenix. I don't know. It was LA? <laughs> yeah. That was a night that we probably sold out, but they told us we didn't. Yes. Yeah. Because we, of the ending of this story. Oh, yeah. Yes. And in the green room, there was a, um, a, a stretch canvas photo of Corey Feld. With his angels. With in, his angels. From Ascension Millennium. Yes. Ascension, Ascension Millennium era. The hit- with his angels in like a, a heavenly kind of background. Yeah, the, and a hit, a hit song by Corey Feldman. Yeah. Um, and someone... A friend of ours. A friend of ours. A friend of the family. A friend of the family decided that he needed that photo. Mm-hmm. And someone else, I'm not mentioning any names. I thought we were me. mentioning names. Wait, no names, it's like a... Me? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Helped put that photograph in a pizza box so that it could be smuggled easily. It was Seth Green. Seth Green <laughs> stole the photo with help from Austin. In a pizza box, smuggled it out of the Whiskey A Go Go, and took it off into the night. To ding dong ditch it at um, Brecken Myers. Myers' house. Brecken yeah, we, Myers' house. On our way back from the whiskey, yes, we drove by Brecken's place and, yeah, ding dong. Ditched. Ditched it. Just right there. And knowing that he had just moved into the place, so it was kind of like weird. Does nobody know that I live here? Like, I thought nobody knew I lived here. And like, yep, yep, no, it's... Sorry, Brecken. Corey Everyone's Feldman knows. Watching. Yeah, Corey Always. Feldman knows. <laughs> and so we actually got into like a little bit of trouble. There was a little bit of... Well, we got accused by the Whiskey A Go Go. And I shall say they tagged TMZ in their post about it. So clearly they right, were just so in all it. All bets were off at that point. Yeah. Yeah. We were really in trouble. They were they saw their own They tried to games. make a they tried to make a cute thing out of it in they a TMZ game. kind of way. But yeah. but they'll say short changes. They said like, Oh yeah, you, know, you guys sold out except for these like ten people or something. It's like, yeah, like just Don't, don't play really? the whiskey, you guys. It full. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So but uh, you know, same time, uh, I, I told Seth, like, listen, because they were actually withholding our pay for, uh, for that for a couple of weeks because they wanted the painting back. And I was like, yeah, Seth, just give it back to them. You know, just like, and he's like, all right, cool. It's in the trunk of my car. He never like, went there, but we still got paid anyway. So, like, yeah. So I think it's actually probably still in the trunk of his car. So I think this, <gasps> this is still within the family, i got to say. Oh, wow. I know. Wow, the crime like the family. Missing Mona Lisa. It is I like know. the missing. It's <laughs> like a, the art heist of the century. I know. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, yeah, the time we sold Corey <laughs> in, the, in the purple shirt. And he gave us a script. And then he we went to script. Mexico. We performed the script. We don't have to talk about the script, but... No, it's true. Yeah. We shouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I think it helped us through that. Was Our Tijuana show was a bit traumatic, and we needed something to do in the, in the green room. It, yeah, no, I was... Yeah, it was, it was a very interesting experience. Yeah. It was... Because uh, uh, also, when they dropped us off, it was like a Sunday... So it was like when everyone's going back over the border from Tijuana, and it was kind of just, it just dropped us off in the back of the biggest line ever. There's the biggest line. Yeah. I, 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 had, I had the special card, so I, I skipped. 
<laughs> but I had to wait for you guys on the other side for 45 minutes. That was a, that was. Oh, terrible. I'm sorry. In San Diego, California, yeah, that yeah. hellhole. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> but it was a, uh, there was a. Um, but Jake, remember, he got pulled out of line. It was you know, was well, it, uh, yeah. v- victimized in a punchable face. That's you know, then yeah. he always got pulled out of lines. Victim eyes and a punchable face. <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys do in your spare time, like on tour? Like, how did you guys get through all of that time traveling and all that? What did you guys do for fun? What did we do? I, I don't know. No idea. We wrote new songs. We, we, did we? No, we know, didn't. No, we also did it on our all right, all, all the tours. We read our Bibles. <laughs> 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 well, we came up with Pussy Joel. We came up with... Yeah, Pussy Joel. Actually, Matt, Matt, can you remember some Pussy Joel? No. No? <laughs> really? Can you not sing like a cat? I can think of it right now. I can remember. It's just the cat, 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 at, 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 at. <laughs> You ought to know me out. <laughs> Who needs a house with a litter box? Is that, that all you, you get, get for your mousies? mousies. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like a waste of twine. Oh, cats, that's what it's all about. Mama, Mama if cats <laughs> moving on, then <laughs> I'm pussing <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, pussy Joel. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, uh, remember you guys did honky tonks in uh, Nashville? Oh, oh we yeah. went honky tonk. That was my birthday. Great. Nashville was incredible. Yeah, we went honky tonk. Yeah. Yeah, we talked about that. I, I, I stood at home and exfoliated in a, in a, oh, in a that's gigantic right. bathtub. <laughs> a bathtub with in dead giants in it. Questionable bathtub. It was, it was, it was good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> it was big. Yeah, it was, it was I, I, need, I needed big. an apricot scrub, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I remember they had double wide bunk beds, which mm-hmm. I'd never seen before. Oh, yeah. What? Excellent invention. Yeah, double ones. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, I've blocked this out. <laughs> Did something happen to me in Nashville, you guys? <laughs> <laughs> well, you went home with some priest, and I don't remember what happened after that. Oh, I think no. it was all right. I assumed you were fine. He was a man of the church, after all. Um, yeah, what did we do? I don't know. We farted around like we always do. And also, we actually, like, our schedules were always pretty booked. I mean, we did, like, eight straight or nine straight nights at a time before we'd even get a day off. And usually those day offs were driving from, like, El Paso to Dallas, which really doesn't seem that much. Same state. Like, no, that's that was a 13-hour, 12-hour drive. That was a thing. I never really toured in America before. Like, tours that we'd done before had always been in Europe where, you know, you only have to drive, like, two or three hours to the next big city. But America is huge, it turns out. It's a really big country. <laughs> and, uh, and so, yeah, getting up early in the morning to drive to the next show was drive kind of an all-day adventure. And, yeah. you know, you're just sitting in the van. And what do you do? I don't know. I Tor- we tour psychosis was a real thing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember Mac lent me his... Uh, I didn't have an iPhone at that time, and you would lend me your iPhone to play Angry Birds on. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was a beautiful gift. Yes, you're welcome. Um, <laughs> like these birds, they fly into things? This is amazing. Wait, there's different kinds? Oh <laughs> and they're Jedis? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, the Northeast is like, oh, that's okay. Like, you know, even New York, Boston's actually is like, four hours or something like that like in the dc kind of but when you start getting the further west you go like those are killers like you think on the map that portland would be a lot closer to san francisco it's not it's, it's not so it's very far. much it's not so that that's you know yeah. yeah you're talking like a 10 hour drive kind of deal but there and, were some beautiful drives i remember that was i like that's one gift that pizza underground gave to me was like getting to see the southwest and getting to see all those crazy cactuses and all those funny shapes and mm-hmm. the you know i mean it's if you haven't seen America, guys, out there, <laughs> start a pizza band. It's really good. <laughs> and go on tour. And uh, yeah, uh, I remember um, uh, driving through the th- driving through the Southwest, like Arizona, New Mexico. It was the thing. Oh, the thing. So there was yeah. the billboards every like couple of miles. Like, don't forget yes. to see the thing. The Stop thing, and see the thing. The thing in fifty it. miles. That like, yeah, thing. It's like, that so we thing. we had to see the thing. Like we, uh, you know, it's only like a dollar or two each. Yeah. We went through the whole thing where it was just followed the yellow line through our backyard. Right. It, it went past like driftwood art. Yeah. Like exactly. animals made out of like wood they found. What was the, the thing though? I don't remember. It was a mummy. It was a mummy. Oh. Spoiler alert, everybody. Oh, it's a mummy. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> remember it was like it was like a, like yeah, a, a half deteriorated <laughs> mummy that probably wasn't a real mummy. But like, yeah, that was that was that's the thing, guys. No, it was totally worth it. But yeah, no, there was the thing. 
I just remember also Arizona, uh, when you're driving down the, the highway, it's emu farm. You always see like emu farm, mm. like just like signs. Oh. Like, yeah, that, that's, you know. Emu it, farm. You ever think, emu I know, farm. You, you think that we like, you know. You, know, yeah. you ever wonder where all our emu meat comes from? Arizona. Well, not, not anymore, guys. <laughs> it's Arizona. <laughs> Arizona. <laughs> I'm often chomping down on a big emu burger and wondering. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I wonder, I yeah. wonder, you know. Yeah. No, Arizona, guys. You guys, what is an emu? <laughs> it's an ostrich. It's just, it's a, yeah, just an ostrich. I'm joking. I'm joking. I know what an emu is. <laughs> it's all, it's all <laughs> Speaking of states that start with A and end with A. Um, Alaska. And Al- Alabama is where I was going. But oh. I, w- oh. I wish we had gone to Alaska too. But I'll never forget our show in Alabama and how we got um, attacked um, after the show with the guy holding the Home Alone VHS that he was slamming into the window. Oh, yeah, he teched our van. Yeah. Saying, I just want Macaulay Culkin to know I exist. <gasps> As he was hitting. And we were call- we were in the van, like, calling the police because we were so Because <laughs> well, he was kind afraid. of attacking our van. I mean, look, yeah, I mean, it, I was hoping there was more spin kicks involved. It would have been <laughs> even me. better. It was me. <laughs> that <laughs> explains a lot. That's real meat cute. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hashtag me cute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was mobile. That was that was mobile. Alabama. Correctly pronounced, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think. Thanks. So. <laughs> I asked around. <laughs> I remember, there was, a, there was a handful because we actually all listed out all the states we'd been to and not been to. Again, oh, yeah. yeah, like we never we never played Idaho, guys. Like you oh, know, yeah. yeah. We didn't, but we, but we drove we through did it. Drive through it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Neither Dakota. No. Yeah, neither we did Dakota, not drive through them. Wyoming. We mm-hmm. drove through Wyoming. Didn't yeah. we go go through all but six states? Oh, I don't know. I, I don't know. have not been to six states. We we, cause we did we did Rhode Island actually. We did. That's yeah. true. Yeah, we played Providence. Yeah. yeah. I guess we probably didn't drive in Maine. No, we didn't. No, no. Should, no, no. Should no. our reunion tour just be just the states that we missed? Yeah, uh, probably. Your Boise. Here we go to Tulsa. Tulsa, Maine. You know, yeah. Tulsa. Bangor, Maine. Yeah. 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 Bangor, we'll, Maine. We'll do Dover. Anchorage. Yeah. Anchorage, Dover. Alaska. <laughs> Dover. <laughs> Dover, <laughs> Delaware. Honolulu. <laughs> Honolulu. Yeah. Tampa. <laughs> um, yeah, is there anything else? I don't know, guys. Uh, um, pizza. Pizza, <laughs> yeah, pizza. Pizza was what started it all. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, we ate a lot of pizza out mm-hmm. there, and some of it was really Ever good. And also, we, yeah. oh. Oh, oh, that's a good question. Yes. At Williamsburg Pizza. We ate underneath the, the Williamsburg Pizza in their in their basement. It was the two yeah. boots. No, that, that was, was two boots. boots. Oh, two boots. sorry. Yeah, sorry. Two boots. It was yeah. two boots. Yeah, they actually made a pizza for us, and then they named it after us for a week. And then they stole our idea and they changed the name to they a cha- different Velvet Underground name reference. Names, 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 names. <laughs> <laughs> it's an expose. <laughs> but uh, what have you all been doing since then? I know you guys. I mean, I'm not going to tell you a story. Yeah, we wanted to make sure we wouldn't have to go on any more Pizza Underground <laughs> tours, so we had a baby. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Matt and Phoebe had a baby. Yeah. Woo! His name is Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's very cheesy. Sausage and pepperoni. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, yeah, how's, how's uh, parenthood going? It's really great. I would say it's it's really great, but I do miss being drunk all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is it more rewarding than being in a pizza band? Ah! No, 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 all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say most of the time he likes us more than the average person audience for pizza underground shows <laughs> oh, not all good. the time but most of the time i'd say he's more appreciative of our antics nice. um, yeah and he's like he's starting to turn into a little person he's like three or something now oh yeah he's three he's, he, he's three talking and, and stuff oh mm-hmm. my god yeah he's talking and actually he's excited about jamming he likes to he's in a band with matt called mr band <laughs> that he named it that himself <laughs> and we got him a little a little guitar when we were in mexico and he plays it and uh and he's really good. He's certainly as good as most of us were. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I yeah. think he'll be better than me tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the but pizza got- underground, as good as three-year-olds. Well, and he is being raised underground because our apartment is in the basement. So <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Well, if Amazing. you ever need a kazoo player for Mr. Band, I know a guy. No, it's not me. <laughs> it's would, another three-year-old. I would never. <laughs> I'll call up Elijah Wood. No. <laughs> Do you think we could get him? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, um, Austin, what are you? What are you doing, man? 
Uh, I moved to Los Angeles, California. Look at you, you surfer. Just living. You are a little tanner. Yeah. yeah. Am I tanner? I did notice that my freckles are bad. I was going to say you're more freckly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how that happened, to be honest. Mm-hmm. You know, hiking. <laughs> the sun. Sun. Surfing. Just the beach. <laughs> yes, some some of us moved to Los Angeles to retire. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We're like, oh, it's so tired now that... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, now that I've made my mark, made my fortune, my pizza fortune. Time to <laughs> enroll in some ceramics classes. Because yeah. both you and Dina like moved out to LA. You guys are yeah. living together. So yeah, it's it's yeah, it's you two are living together, and then you two are living together, and then. What about you, Mac? Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm living together also. <laughs> we're all in one piece. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, yeah, we're all just pieces, and we when we put them together. It's like we're a pie. That's so true. No. So true. <laughs> There's no That's reaching so going on here at all. <laughs> <laughs> and so yeah, you guys are doing the LA kind of thing. Like yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You still writing and all that kind of thing? Yeah. 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 Austin's a professor now. Oh, I see. There we go. That's one. See, why are you gonna make me dig so hard? <laughs> Tell me, you're you're professing. Maybe you, you don't want to talk about it. I mean, I I, I don't know. All right, cool. I don't think I'm a. I I wouldn't say I'm a full friend. If if somebody called me professor, I'd be like, uh, you're teaching. I'm teaching. I sort of long distance. <laughs> long distance teaching. <laughs> Is it all over Facetime? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, cool, cool. You don't know want to talk about? It? Doesn't matter to me. <laughs> uh, um. Yeah, Dina. Same thing. You're in LA. You're making jewelry, which I, I've seen. I'm making jewelry. Um, based on yeah, yeah, uh, <laughs> Matt Grinning characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, thank you. Thank you from Life in Hell. I'm also writing poetry about the Holocaust now. It's a new <laughs> thing mm-hmm. I wasn't doing before that I, I'm doing now. All right. All right. How, how new is this? I'm pretty d- dang darn new. I was um, invited to um, <laughs> do a reading at a Holocaust conference and I said, sure, I love an assignment. And um, I love the Holocaust. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I was like, well, I don't really have any. I'm not. I don't. Uh, okay, sure, I'll do it. And then they sent me a poster for the conference. It was put on by the uh, the Shoah Foundation and the USC Film School and the Center for Genocide. And I was like, oh my god, this is like all the heavy hitters in academia <laughs> and Holocaust studies. Um, and so I don't, there's a place that's pro genocide. I mean, it's for genocide. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah. It's um. You, th- you think that'd be taboo. it's pretty subversive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go on. Sorry. <laughs> Couldn't name help it. names. <laughs> yeah, yeah, name names. <laughs> USC. USC. Um. So you do that still writing and all that, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, writing, performing. Yeah. Have some se- some series that I curate. Nice. The alias music and reading. I'll shout it out. Yeah, yeah. I'm that's proud. Really nice. that's, that's, I'm proud. I'm proud. To do. I'm yeah. proud. So the alias, what was it? Uh, readings and music. We just we invite writers and musicians, um, and we we do events like every two months, and we uh, raise money for organizations in in need while we do. Um, yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Oh, that's super cool. Yeah. So you feel fulfilled. Feeling feeling more tan. Yeah, out deeply. There? No no anxiety. No no regrets. Just like fully happy. <laughs> um, <laughs> from your roommate. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. Well, I think we're done, right? I, I, I feel good. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Mic drop. Hey, so this is an outro. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that uh, time that me and the Pete's Underground talked to each other. Um, I forgot to do an intro and an outro, so that's why you're getting uh, <laughs> these post-taped outros and intros and stuff. Um, so I guess I have to uh, plug uh, my uh, social media. So uh, go to the Incredible Kulk, uh at Twitter. Uh, that's the Twitter's. And uh, at the Incredible Call, so you do that. 
And, uh, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, you know, maybe we'll do a reunion at some point. Maybe I'll actually get to hear that album, which is actually, it is baller. And I, I have to stop being lazy and laying on those things. But, um, yeah, uh, I hope that's it. And uh, also, uh, look, I know you're probably listening to this in your car or at work or something like that. So, while you guys are in those places, try not to suck too many dicks. And if you do, send pics. You are freaking lying!